Okay, folks, thanks so much for joining us. And we turn up a wee fly, it's a, a northern fly, and it's called the uh, Langa, Langa Fancy. Okay, so it's a very basic fly, but it could be perfect for sea trout, for grills, little water grills fishing, especially at the moment, and also even dogging as well. So the body is made up of fluorescent green, and this is fluorescent green floss, size 12. You can use any floss yourself, you can even use fluorescent green thread. So I've just run two runs up the body there. And then I'm going to do a wee bit of finish. I just want to be able to varnish this. Or super glue it. So just get super glue or varnish. And just put a little bit on the body. Just to give it that bit of security. And I'll probably put a wee bit of super glue on that. I'll probably give that a coat of varnish as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, let that dry in, soak into that thread, so to a very secure hold, and I'm going to put on another one here, just a body, it's even a shorter body this one, so even better for low water. And then I'm going to change from a floss to fluorescent orange thread, this is Phoebus. Red is not used too often, but do you like it now? Okay, so I'm going to thread that onto the bob bobbin. And we'll just start again, just so we'll add, add that thread on at the head. Four or five turns up, and we'll just put our thread off. Okay, so. Um, you can do the wing first or the throat entirely up to yourself. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use black fox pelt for the wing. And because this is a size 15, very small little fly, I'm not going to move, use too much. It might look like a lot for some, but for Arctic foxes, it's not that much. Okay, I'm going to just, as always, I'm going to just pull out the underfur. And then a few of the longer guard hairs. Okay, and I want this lamp a good bit past the hook. Okay, so just put on pinching loop so as I go up and pinching the thread, I'm taking all the slack and bring that back down. Okay, and then a couple of times to secure that in. Have a wee look at the profile, and I'm happy enough with that there. Okay. And I can go into the scissors and cut off the surplus. Okay. Now that I have those tips exposed, the cut ends, I'm going to just use a wee bit of super glue just to really hold that and get it very secure. Okay. And then you can use a wee bit of flesh. Um, because this is a fox wing, I like to use something a bit more mobile. And because I have a green body, I'm going to use some green fibres here. It's basically very similar to Enzo here. Okay, and then I'm going to cut out different lamps. So I'll run my blades along it. Now I'll give a nice taper to the flash. Hopefully they're about the same length as the tail. There we go. Or the wing. Perfect. And then last thing we need to do is just add on a beard hackle. So I've just got blue here. I'm going to flip this underneath. And I get a hackle and I just pull the fibres so they're 90 degrees to the stalk. Okay. And I just pull a bunch. Line them up. Pull another bunch, and that should be enough for this. So it's 15. Again, pinch and loop with the other hand if possible. Okay. And again, you just want that. It's a beard hackle, you don't want a big hackle, so something, you know, you can even pull that a wee bit in, but you want it no longer than the, the length of the hoop. Okay, I'm starting to that up. 
and then the last thing you need to do is just do a whip finish so four or five turns of whip finish and a little bit of a mess here ahead here but that's you that is a very quick easy hair windy tie ideal for salmon grilled seafood dogging you name it um, so hopefully you find that useful folks and as always if you did please hit that like subscribe button and i'll see you next time all the best.